Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com, where you can find stylish and affordably priced glasses with prescription lenses for as low as $30. If you are interested, you will find a link down below where you'll receive a discount off your purchase. Big thanks to Glasses USA, and let's go ahead and get started. Today, I'm going to be experimenting with this gadget, and this is a Whirly Pop. And this Whirly Pop states to make Picture perfect popcorn, much like you would find at the movie theater, using this contraption. I found this, like I find a lot of my funny gadgets, at Savers and I paid $5.99 for it. It's a very lightweight pot and it has this double lid on here. And inside, when you twirl the handle, a little spinner spins and keeps the popcorn kernels in motion while the pot is heating up. So I've heard rave reviews about this thing. I am not a fan of unitaskers in general. I don't like a machine or a gadget that only has one purpose. And this purpose would be to make popcorn. I know that you can also make like seasoned popcorns like kettle corn in this as well. So it's not totally unitasker, but pretty much. We love popcorn around here and I usually make it in this thing. And this is called a pot. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison to see if this is worth taking up real estate in my kitchen. So first thing it says to do is take a half cup of unpopped popcorn, pour it into the boiling pot. Wow, that was so loud. Now we're adding two tablespoons of oil. I'm using safflower oil, which cooks nicely at high temperatures. So two tablespoons of oil medium to medium high heat and we just crank it and we do this continuously until you start hearing popping it's already sizzling let me show you some of that action the pan is very very thin so oh look it's already popping holy smokes 34 seconds and about 20 more seconds to that so it's been less than a minute and i'm already hearing popping whoa Okay, okay. Okay, keep turning. This is awesome! I'm feeling a little resistance. It says when you can't turn it anymore and you stop hearing the popping, it's finished. It's getting hard to turn, so I'm turning this off. Let's open this up. Oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. Stop, that's a minute and 48 seconds, okay. Boily Pop says to allow this to cool for a little bit before consuming, because then it won't be chewy. All right, let's test it with the pot. And this is how I do it when we make popcorn every Friday night. All right, same thing here, half a cup of popcorn kernels, and two tablespoons of oil. One, two. The lid on. So while we're waiting for our kernels to pop, let me tell you a little bit more about glassesusa.com. So I picked out these selection of glasses and I'd love for you to tell me what you think about them. I chose them using their tool they have on glassesusa.com's website. It's called the Virtual Mirror and you can try on any of their glasses. So I chose several pairs and I'd love for you to tell me what you think looks best. I've been looking for a good pair of round frames. What do you think about these ones? Kind of I am payish, but a little more subtle with the tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about these ones? Look at these. Oh, yeah. How about these ones? So besides getting in-house brands, you can also get brand names. I got these folding wayfires. What up, Casey Neistat? Look at this. They fold. Doom. So you can choose from over 4,000 different styles, in-house and name brand, and that includes eyewear and sunglasses. And the best part about this is that you can try the glasses risk-free. There's a 100% money-back guarantee. If you're not happy about the glasses for any reason, return them for free shipping within the first 14 days, and you get a full refund. So if you're interested, be sure to check out the link down below to receive a coupon code off your purchase. Big thanks to Glasses USA for sponsoring this video and allowing me to make better videos for you guys. All right, our popcorn should be just about ready. So I hear a little bit of popping. Let me give this a swirl. Swirl it around a little bit. It's at two minutes and 35 seconds. 
I love the sound of popcorn popping. I think that's done. Four minutes and three seconds. All right, let's look at the popcorn difference. All right, there's that popcorn. Pretty identical. All right, let's give the whirly pop a taste first. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Lovely, lovely, fresh popped popcorn. Granted, this has no butter or salt on it, but I love plain popcorn. Mm hmm. Let's try the pot version now. Mmm. That's equally delicious, I would say. Light, airy, a little bit squeaky. Nothing beats freshly popped popcorn, I tell you. To me, the taste is pretty identical. I really don't taste much of a difference. I think the trick is, either way, is to pour it out of the pot very, very quickly so it doesn't steam. Once you get it steaming, then it gets kind of soggy. All right, let's pour the popcorn out and do the kernel test. So here is the pot version. Oops. And I don't have any kernels. Oh, here's one. One, two, four. All right, let's pour it in here. In the Whirly Pop, I don't see a single kernel. That's pretty impressive. Not a single kernel. Amazing. This gadget works. It works faster too. It was nearly twice as fast as the stainless steel pot and that has to do, I think, with the type of pot. This is much, much thinner. It's able to transfer the heat much faster. I would recommend doing medium heat rather than medium high because it gets so hot so fast. It popped every single kernel. I wasn't able to find a kernel. While in the pot version, I did find a few, I found four, but if you don't have a Willy Pop, you're still able to pop perfectly good popcorn. I would say in terms of taste and flavor, I would say it's pretty similar. There were a few unpopped kernels in my stainless steel pot, but not so much that it's anything to complain about. I have a pretty small kitchen, so I don't see myself giving up prime real estate for the Willy Pop. It's pretty big. You could only cook popcorn or kettle corn in it. But if you make a lot of popcorn, if you have a palatial kitchen, then by all means. But for me, I think I'll stick with my multitasking, multi-purpose pot. So there you have it, the Whirly Pot versus Pot. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Big thanks to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. See how you can win the Whirly Pot for yourself. And I shall see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. <laughs>